Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner. I'm here at the Indiana State House with Senator John Broden. He's a Democrat from South Bend. Hi, Senator. Hi, how are you, Leslie? I'm doing good, thank you. Great. I wanted to talk to you today about the budget. The House has passed a budget, it's into the Senate. What would you like to see happen? Well, there were some really good things that I, um, uh, that I did like about the House budget. For example, I, I think it was very wise of them not to include the governor's 10% tax cut at, at this time. What I'm hearing back in the district uh, from business leaders as well as from uh, civic leaders is that uh, they want to see critical investments in transportation, uh, roads, mass transit, and they also want to see investments in education, both K through 12 as well as higher education. They want to see the cuts restored from the last budget first, and uh, so they don't think it's the time for a tax cut. And I was glad that the House budget took that approach, I will say. So the, the House budget increases funding for education by about 2% in the first year and by about 1% in the second year. Of course, that follows several years of either flatline budgets or some cuts. Is that going to be enough? Well, I'd like to see us do a little better, and I think we can do a little better. I'm hopeful that we will do a little better in the Senate because we have uh, seen some really tough times for public education in terms of uh, having to cut teachers, cut back on programs. Uh, so 2 and 1%, that barely keeps up with inflation, and in fact, it may not keep up with inflation. One of the big things the House did was add more money for roads and transportation, including money for local roads. Do you think that is something that will stay in the Senate, and is that important? I'm hopeful that, that it will stay in the Senate. And in fact, I've been kind of a fish swimming upstream on this. I've even supported things like a higher gasoline tax because I believe that one of the critical things we can do for economic development throughout the state is to invest in roads and infrastructure. And major move obviously help with some of the state projects, but the localities have been having to cut back on critical road improvements, and that affects jobs, and that affects economic development. One of the big things that you, the legislature is going to be facing, which does impact the budget in some ways, is whether to expand Medicaid. Where do you come down on whether that's a good idea? We have to expand, uh, expand Medicaid. And in fact, you've seen governors from surrounding states, that whether it's Michigan, Ohio, Republican governors who strongly oppose the, the Affordable Care Act. But they now see uh, that in order to uh, uh, provide health care to literally hundreds of thousands of uninsured citizens, uh, they have to expand uh, Medicaid. And frankly, to, uh, to be able to extend health care to 400,000 Hoosiers and have the federal government pay basically 100 percent of that cost, we can't turn that down. So what the Republicans are pushing is uh, the idea of asking the federal government to send Indiana a block grant and then administering Medicaid in a new way. What do you think of that proposal? Well, there's many ways to skin a cat, so I'd certainly be welcome to a debate about that. Again, as long as we're able to extend care uh, to those 400,000 people, I'm not you know, particularly you know, uh, picky as to how we do that. But I think expanding Medicare is the easiest, most efficacious way to do that. But if there's another way to skin a cat, I'm all for it. So do you think there will end up being any tax cuts at all in this budget? Well, uh, uh, certainly a number of legislators, including myself, have supported uh, uh, expediting the inheritance tax cut. We think we're losing older residents to other states. That Sometimes they go to Florida, they go to where they can make these uh, critical uh, tax decisions. Uh, so I would support uh, uh, expediting the inheritance tax cut, certainly. And do you think there should be maybe anything done with the corporate income tax, or do you think it's where it should be? Well, you know, there's a corporate portion of that tax that uh, uh, banks somehow ended up at a, at a disadvantage versus other uh, corporations. So maybe we can make some change to the financial institution tax, the so-called FIT tax, and that wouldn't cost too much money. I think that would uh, level the playing field, and I would support that. Senator Broden, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Leslie. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner with Comcast Newsmakers.